All right, so somebody asked me about um, laser cutting some topo lines from a AutoCAD drawing. Maybe you got it from GIS or civil engineer and say the, the topos are spaced at two foot in the Z coordinate and you want to laser cut a step topo scaled at 16th of an inch equals a foot from 332nd inch chipboard, which means that each layer of the chipboard is one foot six. How do you get the correct line offset to accommodate the difference in the vertical spacing? So there's multiple solutions. You could scale it non-uniformly in AutoCAD by blocking it and inserting it. You could scale it 1D in Rhino, or you can make a topo surface in Revit and set the contour level, uh, contour interval to one foot six, and export it to an AutoCAD drawing. So I'm going to show you how to do this with lines and a surface. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start a new Revit file. Go to my site, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Insert and link CAD. I'm going to link a lines drawing. Click OK. That guy's going to come in. Zoom out a little bit. And then I'm going to link another CAD drawing. This is actually a surface. So I'm going to link that guy in. And then I'm just going to move one off of the other so they're not right on top of each other. Okay. So if we go to a 3D view, you're going to see that these are a series of lines and that that is a surface. If I go to shaded view, Right, you're not going to be able to see through that, but you see through that one. So now what we want to do is we want to make a topo surface out of these guys. So go into Massing and Sight, Topo Surface, Create from Import, Select Import Instance. I'm going to pick the lines first, and then I'm going to remove all the layers that I don't want it to topo. And it'll go through and place a topo map on that guy. And then I'm just going to come over here and hit check to finish that off. And then I'm going to repeat myself with this surface over here. So topo surface, create from import, select import instance, pick that guy, remove the, la the layers that I do not want it to topo, and click OK. And it's going to go through and topo that guy and give me an error message about the border, but I'm not worried about that. Hit check. And then I'm going to go into my insert manage links and just unload those two CAD files so we don't have to look at them. Okay, so there's the two topo surfaces in Revit. And I'm going to go back from the shaded to a hidden line so you can sort of see them a little better. Now the next thing you want to do is change the interval. So I'm going to go back to the massing and sight and under the model site panel is a down arrow for the settings. And I want to remove um, the interval of 10 feet and I'm going to change this increment to one foot six. Okay. And then if I hit apply, you're going to see those update. So you see if I do it a, a more drastic at four feet, right, it'll do that. But then you can come back at one foot six and apply that. Okay. And now, um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could come in and double check the interval by putting some contours on it right and see that that is actually going up at one foot six I'm going to undo that now the next thing you want to do is just zoom out where you have both of them visible and go to the application pull down export CAD formats DWG next save it I'm going to save over that one click OK yes and it's going to save that file out to AutoCAD and if I minimize that, and let's get AutoCAD open and open up that file, you're going to see that you've got two contour um, drawing contour lines, and they've been flattened, so they are flat drawings, right? And you can now come in there in AutoCAD and prepare them. You'll have to do some work making them into polylines and maybe clean them up a little bit, but you do have the correct offsets. All right, so that's it.